All right, our first step is to uh, simplify this circuit. <clears throat> we can't find the uh, charge or the voltage drop across any of these capacitors yet because we only know the capacitance on each one. Um, <clears throat> looking at the circuit, I would say C1 and C4 are in series with each other because this wire here is going to connect down with this wire, but I've got to get rid of C2 and C3 in the process. Now, C2 and C3 if you consider their voltages here, this wire is at a certain voltage, and then this wire is at a certain voltage, and they're the same. So C2 and C3 are in parallel with one another. So I can simplify this circuit as this. C1 and I've got the combination C23 and C4. And C23, since I'm adding these capacitors in um, parallel, uh, I just add the capacitances up, right? So it's 5 microfarads. And then my next step would be to combine all three of these capacitors into a single equivalent capacitor. Which is C total. Now, now C1, C2, 3, and C4 are in series, so 1 over C total is going to be 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, 3 plus 1 over C4. So when I do that calculation, I get C total is uh, 0 0.69 microfarads. Okay, from here we are going to, so this is C total, right? <clears throat> from here we're going to build the circuit back up. Now, if C total is points, uh, 0.69 microfarads, then uh, this, there's finally a capacitor that I've got two of my three quantities on, right? Because I've also got delta V total is 24 volts from uh, my initial diagram up here. So uh, Q total is 16.6 microcoulombs. So, okay, well, if the charge on this capacitor is 16.6, that means the charge on each of these three capacitors is 16.6 because they're in series. So I can say that Q1 is equal to Q23 is equal to Q4, and that's equal to 16.6 microcoulombs. Well, now I know two out of three things on Q1, and I know two out of three things on Q4. Let me go ahead and... Uh, Oh, well, it just wants the charge, right? I don't even have to find the voltage drop. So now let me deal with Q23. Um, so for this capacitor, what I need to do now is I need to find the voltage drop across it. The voltage drop across this capacitor is the uh, charge over the capacitance. So that's 16.6 microcoulombs over 5 microfarads. That's 3.31 volts, All right? And since the voltage drop across this capacitor is 3.31 volts, that means the voltage drop across each of these two capacitors is 3.31 volts, right? So delta V2 and delta V3 are 3.31 volts. All right, so now I know two out of three things for capacitors 2 and 3, and I can solve for the charges. Q2 is uh, C2 delta V2, which is 6.6 .6 microfarads, and Q4 is C3, oh sorry, Q3, C3 delta V3, and that's 9.9 .9 microfarads. Okay, so there are my four answers. My charges on each of my four capacitors.